All right, so today I've got this 2005 Jaguar XK8, and it's got some misfire codes. So I'm going to go through the beginning to end on how I would diagnose this car. If I scan it, I'm getting some misfire codes, P0300, 301, 302. Basically all cylinders are misfiring. The one that's running bad and um, has rough symptoms and bogging down. Okay, so one of the first things I look at is the long and short term fuel trim and see if it's compensating for a richer lean condition. And it's kind of hard to see on the screen, but you can see that the short term is climbing higher. You see it going all the way to 25%. So that's usually an indication that the engine's running lean. Okay, so when you have a lean condition, there's a few things that could be going on. You could have an air leak, uh, in which case you would smoke test the uh, engine air intake. Um, you could have low fuel pressure or low fuel volume, so you would need to take a fuel pressure test. But um, anytime I see this Denso style mass sensor, the first thing I do is I come and remove it and take a look at the hot film wires to see if they're dirty or damaged. Okay, so I got the sensor out. Let's see if I can get the the film wires on here. So those two wires are what you want to clean and uh, using some mass airflow sensor spray. Alright, so what I use to clean this is the Berryman's mass airflow sensor cleaner. You can use the CRC version, you can use a uh, non-chlorinated brake cleaner. Uh, just don't touch the hot film wires with the little straw and just blow dry it with your breath. Don't uh, use any shop air or anything. And uh, so let me show you how to do that. So this right here is the, the intake air temp sensor and the two wires inside are the hot film wires. And if they're dirty you also want to check your air filter to see if it's plugged up or dirty itself letting stuff in. And there you go, I'm going to reinstall it. Alright, so I reinstalled the MAF sensor. I did notice, um, and I'll put a pickup of it, when I used my board scope to check it, you could see one of the hot film wires uh, was a little, uh, looked like it had been damaged. So um, we're going to double check it, but uh, most likely it's going to need to be replaced. Alright, so after cleaning the MAF sensor or making any type of repairs, you want to 
obviously clear the diagnostic codes and usually many times on a lot of different cars that that will clear the field trips too. Uh, some vehicles will not clear the field trims and you'll need to use a scan tool to reset the adaptation. If you don't take those steps the ECM, PCM is going to think that the prompt still exists but now you've got a problem resolved and it's going to try to compensate for that and you may get drivability issues or you're going to continue to get the MIL coming on or setting pending codes. Now this scan tool does not have a reset adaptation function so if the fuel trims did not reset then many times I'll go back to the vehicle battery and short the two cables together with it disconnected and uh, that will do the trick but it's a mandatory step I think a lot of guys forget to do that and they're chasing their tail even after they've made a repair so we're going to take a look at the fuel trim again here see how she acts. So here it seems like the field trim was reset by resetting the diagnostic codes. And usually in the beginning it's going to fluctuate greatly until it settles down so at this point if the car seems like it's doing better I would take it on a road test and drive it until the fuel trim stabilize and see if they're still climbing towards 20 percent or if they're staying under 10 percent where I like them Right now it's pretty obvious to me that cleaning the mask made a huge difference so even with that hot film wire damage it seems to be acting much better. And my short term field trim before was climbing pretty high especially at part throttle and it seems to be pretty stable. So I think I'm going to take this for a road test and try to confirm if that was the fix. Okay, so after the road test, uh, the car did great. And um, however, I still wanted to replace the math center because I know the wire should not be like that. And you can see in the upper left corner a brand new math sensor and the hot film uh, wires look really clean and distinct in shape. And if you look at the lower right hand corner, the one upper wire uh, is deformed. So that can be from debris getting in past the air filter, um, in some cases just getting so dirty that it affects the uh, wire and um, it gets burnt. So I did end up replacing it, and the car ran great. Uh, it was obvious from uh, the initial test drive and the post-repair test drive. So just to go over uh, what occurred in this uh, situation was the vehicle was setting misfire codes but was running lean due to a faulty MAF sensor and so therefore had lean misfires uh, specifically on acceleration or wide open throttle. So there you have it, guys. Um, that goes over how to diagnose, to repair, and gives you an idea on cleaning hot film-style math sensors.